point. We're back with Access <laughs> Hollywood Live with The Walking Dead's Josh McDermott and Michael Cutlets. Guys, we're talking about last night and The Talking Dead, and you guys, the whole cast was there. Yeah. Michael, you had a, not only the whole cast, but your little flask. Yeah. I hope you got I hammered last night. I, I think I was trying to break every to. rule that like, growing up you were not supposed to do on live television. What's in the Swearing, flask? Swearing, drinking, and I think I, yeah, I lit up a cigar in the middle of the show. Um, Defiant it was till the end. Blanton's Blanton. was in the, or, or it was Crown Royal Rye. I'm not sure. And what were the fans coming up and saying to you last night? They were they were loving it. Um, they I mean, they were broken. I mean, they were. Yeah. It was. You know, I I do think that that the the job of the Talking Dead afterwards is to, Chris has described it as a a warm hug. You know, after the show. But I think that the audience does. There is some satisfaction in seeing the cast alive. Yeah. Uh, interacting with each other, happy. That I think it helps separate that. Okay, this character has passed because the. Our fans do have access to us. We do a lot of conventions. We meet a lot of fans. Um, we have a very, very close, tight, reciprocal relationship. And I think it's very important for them to see, and it may sound strange, but they need to see that we're okay. And I think that helps them get through it. It, it, was, it was a brutal episode. I'm a fan of the show yeah. uh, and have been for a long time. And it, 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 it's a brutal episode. And, and you guys uh, got a standing ovation, and you and Steven in particular, because your characters were killed off. No, it's because I mean, we're pretty phenomenal actors. <laughs> that too. That we, too. Yeah. Do you watch the show, Natalie? Hello. <laughs> Natalie, can't oh, miss wow. it. You got a standing ovation. Because they because, love like, you. Because they wow. love you, and it's how you went, too. You went down in flames because your last line. I mean, come on, that last line, yeah. which we can't even say on TV. Say. Um, that was, we can say it on TV. You could say it on your did you, TV. Did you make that up, or did they? Was that in the script? Was that scripted? Yeah. They scripted, all of that stuff is scripted. Our writers are amazing. Phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. and it's. I mean, it, it was fun to be able to share that with the fans, and and uh, especially how brutal of an episode it was. It's. You know, I was tweeting out that you shouldn't watch this episode alone. Hold someone's hand because it was so intense. And so to be able to share that with the fans live and to have them see us come out, like Michael was saying, was truly special. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what's next for you. This has to be wild as an actor to be so connected to a part. That's and I was, we were going in our archives here. Guys, do you uh -oh. know where you recognize oh, yes. him? Look at this right here. Do you know who this is? This is Tony Miller. This is Brenda's prom date from 90210. I could not remember that. <laughs> you took Brenda to the prom. You just do we have me. video of that? Do we have picture? You we have video, I think. So you were badly. waving the hotel keys. Yeah, I remember them. Absolutely. We remind him of every one of his acting roles throughout his career. It's like, hey, you remember Josh? He's like, I remember when I was like six watching you on Beverly Hills 90210. And Josh, we remember you from Last Comic Standing. So yeah. is this yeah. your side note career? Because you're so serious on this show. I mean, this is the first drama I've done. It was, um, you know, comedy all the way and then uh, I told my agents I said let's try for some dramas this was the first audition I went on yeah. and um, which and I, I got it th this is but I and now I'll probably get emotional I love working with this dude and he's like yeah this is the first drama and I'm like are you I've, I've been very fortunate I've worked with a lot of people my best time I have on set is working with this guy and Steve but he's Thanks, oh, this is see, this, this is, is why we watch the show. Natalie, you said it was dark and gory. <laughs> no, it's love and tears. That's what I said. It's a family. When you go oh. to the set, because I've I've been to the set and I've interviewed you. You weren't there that day, but it is. They talk about like how whenever you know the cast comes back, whenever there's a main character who's going to be killed off, yeah. and they come back and they surround them with love, and it's oh. about it's like sort of. You know, moving forward from that point. We're removed as we yeah. shoot the show. We're in the, the backwoods of Georgia, out in yeah. the sticks. It's hot, it's humid. We shoot over the summer. The conditions are not fun. And lots of snakes. Lots too, of right? snakes and ticks. bugs. You got ticks, ticks. crawling into your oh. skin and stuff like that. And <laughs> nice. Yeah. I like how you, uh, how you skirted this tick story. Well, yeah. I heard a story really? about that. <laughs> Steven, Steven tells well, a story about a, great about a tick, tick story. Yes. in but the that, nether regions. But we'll that, just say. that bonds us together. And, uh, you know, obviously shooting the show, which is so uh, intense and highly emotional, brings us together too. But the fact that we're removed from everybody, if this show shot in LA, yeah. I don't know that we would be as close. Either. Yeah because we would off be doing our own things back home and things like that. So it, it's nice and, and when someone leaves, it's good to come back and celebrate yeah. them and celebrate their work and, 
And the great thing, too, is it's goodbye, but it's not really goodbye. I mean, like I said, I see him all the time. We see everyone else who's passed on. I, we didn't even work with John Bernthal or Scott Wilson, but we see them all the time, mm -hmm. even though they had passed on uh, before we got to the show. So it's, it is truly a family, and it's special. So how does the show carry on from here, Josh? Because it seems... Rick has been broken down. He's no longer the leader. Now it's going to be Negan who yeah, leads. But I got this, since you probably don't know <laughs> anything dead. about this. You're dead, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well, he's, he's like, and I'm done. brought the flask. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I think this group is, uh, they got to pick up the pieces. Um, Literally, um, sorry, I shouldn't yeah. have said that. Too soon, um, too, too soon. soon. Too, soon. <laughs> Wait, too soon. Too many people um, to pick up. <laughs> oh, gosh. But, um, I mean, we're all broken. It's not yeah. just Rick. It's the whole group, you know, and I think especially someone like Eugene, who was so close to Abraham and seeing such a strong survivor go down like that. You know, Eugene had come into his own and become a survivor himself and, and had the confidence to to live in this world that he thought he knew. And now that's changed. Mm -hmm. And so moving forward, it's how do I maintain being a survivor? while knowing that this jerk with the baseball bat is out there who's just crazy and can kill any one of us at any time.